Hi, Dr. Benson. It's Maureen Minnelli. It's an honor and a privilege to have been asked to make this tribute video for you. But more importantly, it's been an honor and a privilege to actually have been one of your graduate students. I have to tell you that when I first met you in the late 1980s, you really scared me. You know, in many ways, you're the stereotypical professor. You're smart. You're intellectual. You're thoughtful. You're thought-provoking. But at the same time, you're introverted and you're quiet. And, and you violated... Uh, my perceptions of what communication professors should be, in, in other words, that they should be extroverted. And I can remember asking you questions and hearing silence. And I can't tell you how, how deafening, scary that silence was because I wasn't really sure, are you thinking you have an answer? Or are you thinking I asked a stupid question? Or more importantly, are you thinking I'm really stupid and you know maybe I shouldn't have gone to Penn State in the graduate program? So it took me a long time to get over being afraid of you, I'd say probably within the last 10 years. Um, I guess I'm not so much worried about what you think of me as in, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in what you have to say with my the questions that I have. The, the things that you taught me in your classes were just incredible, it's immense. Uh, one of the things I take away is the importance of language. It's how important words are and what words have been selected. And at the same time, looking at what is not being said or what is being omitted. Uh, you taught me, you know, to be a neutral observer as a, as a researcher, you know, to leave the ego at the door, leave any arrogance at the door, leave any political affiliations at the door, but instead let the words and the context and the situation, the players also guide into uh, interpretation and, and trying to get the most, you know, the most possible, real, valid interpretation that's a that's available or that's out there. Uh, you've taught me the importance of historical research, uh, being able to look at authentic documents, documents from the time frame that explain, you know, what was going on at the time and who was involved and what considerations had to be factored into a decision and then taking a look at the word choice and why presidents chose to say word X over word Y. It's, you know, it's just been invaluable to realize that, you know, you can make a better informed critical assessment of an artifact when you've been able to look at original documents that, that help you guide your, your investigation. I'm hoping that the lessons that I've learned from you as my professor, I have uh, in turn tried to instill them in my students. I stress for them to work hard. Um, like you, I don't give them the answers, but instead I try to push them to figure things out on their own. I stress the importance of research and trying to, you know, trying to get the, the most information possible f before making an argument or a particular assessment. Uh, the things that I've learned and, you know, the shameful things that I probably wrote in my graduate papers, I'm just so grateful that you put up with me for all the years. I think more importantly, though, <coughs> what, what I take away the most is, is your friendship and, and your mentoring since leaving Penn State. Um, you've always been there. Every time I've asked a question, even though there might be years apart, uh, you always respond back to me and give me your best advice, which has been invaluable. Uh, you helped me when Dr. Cohen became sick. You just recently helped me with uh, Dr. Cohen's papers and helping me uh, determine, you know, what should be included and what should not be included uh, as I was getting ready to send them to the University of Iowa. <clears throat> You've given uh, incredible career advice and, you know, you, you're, you're just a great mentor and I'm eternally grateful that you continue to talk to me through email after all these years, and I, I haven't shamed you, at least not too much, I hope not. So I want to say congratulations on the retirement of the teaching portion of your career. I, I'm grateful that uh, you're going to be able to spend more time and do your writing and you know, say the things that you want to say, because I'm sure you have more things to say. I feel bad for the graduate students who are not going to be able to take one of your classes because they're missing out on a wonderful education and a wonderful professor and a wonderful thinker and a wonderful guider. <clears throat> so I'd like to say thank you for all that you've done, for sticking with me, you know, with the previous century and now into the current century. And uh, just thank you for everything because you're, you're a wonderful person, a remarkable person. And it's been an honor and a privilege to have been one of your students. So thank you, Dr. Benson. Enjoy.